Hey guys, Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6. And uh, I'm going to try out a couple of mods today. I have a little bit of, um, where is it here? Yeah, I have the KO Quick UI, which is basically just a UI mod. It makes it easier to play the game in certain ways and sort of stuff like that. Not really much of a gameplay impact. It does have pins though, which I really like. And then we're also going to be playing with the Take Your Time X2 uh, Technology and Civic um, mods, which basically just increase the amount of time it takes to research civics and technologies by two. I've actually, kind of a funny story here, I've, this is my fourth attempt to, to, to get this recording done because, um, like, I would make a mistake, I tried out, I, tr I was trying out the yet not another map pack and I got dumpstered by, um, I got dumpstered by the turn transitions. I had 12 AI, I had 12 AI civilizations at, and 14 city states and there were, like, I'm talking like I would have like a 10 second turn and then a two minute turn transition. It was unbearable. So now I'm trying out a smaller map, but we're going to be playing with some cool stuff. I'm going to be playing on DD, on standard rules, on the online speed with the true start location Earth just to try it out, you know, and uh, we're going to be playing with eight, eight leaders. I'm, I'm going to try and um, I'm actually going to try and spread people out a little bit because the random leaders, I'm worried that it will Try to place them all in the same place so let's have a look here i want one person in america which i think will be teddy teddy himself i want another person in um in south america which will be where are you pedro i want one person in africa which i think will be our friend november i want one person in asia which i think will be where are you china and i want one person in uh, so i have america i have south america i have africa i have asia and i have me in australia i would like maybe some european civs i think russia actually makes sense here that should be like a bridge between these two um And since it's a pretty big map, I might do Victoria here so that she has quite... Because she is, she's, you know, she has a pretty interesting range. We'll, we'll throw down Victoria here. And then, um... Who else? I have sort of two European-ish... Maybe India? Will I throw down India here? Or Scythia? Scythia is kind of near Russia, I think. So I don't know if I'll put her in. Um... Let's throw in Cleopatra because she's sort of in that Egypt. So I think this is like a reasonable spread of civilizations. No, here's one in America. Here's one in South America. Here's one in Africa. Here's one in China, sort of Asia region. Here's one in Russia. Here's one in Europe. And here's one in North Africa. So this, this feels like it might be a good spread of um, of civs to try this out on. We've got the true start location Earth. We're on DD, Ancient Terra, online speed. We have a couple of mods installed. Let's do it. And we're playing with Australia, actually. I'm pretty excited about Australia. I think it's a really interesting civilization. It has some pretty crazy bonuses. It's like 100, 100% production if you get, if someone declares a war on you. Is bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers to get 100% production for 10 turns. I can understand like maybe five turns of production or, or you know, eight turns, but 10 turns and then another 20 turns of 100% production if you liberate a city. When Australia has this bonus running, it's amazing. My only issue with it is that it's a little hard to actually like activate it because it's very like it's an incredibly powerful bonus, but it only activates under certain circumstances. So it's you know it's. I still think it's like really imba. Um, and then they have land down under, which is another pretty damn crazy bonus. It gives them plus three housing in coastal cities. Okay, plus three housing in coastal cities means I think if they settle on a coastal river tile at the start of the game, I think that means they have nine housing uh, in their capital city and another another city might have seven, which is again, fucking crazy amounts of housing in the early game. Um, it just means they can play so aggressively on coastlines and not even have to worry too hard about rivers, which is a really interesting idea for the civilization. Um, I think the past year's trigger or culture bomb, that's like a less of an exciting bonus. It's just like a nice 
sort of thing. Because usually pastures are pretty early in the game. You've like maybe somewhere between two and five pastures in your empire. So it just means they're going to claim tiles a little earlier and they won't need to focus on culture as much. And so it's I, I, I feel like it's more of like a little quality of life sort of. Here's a nice little bonus thrown in. Um, but the really crazy part of their bonus, in my opinion, is, uh, is the yields from campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares are plus two in tiles with charming appeal and plus four in tiles with breathtaking. When you can make this bonus activate, it's going to be crazy. Plus four science. Like, imagine if you could get that in every city. That's plus four science in every city. That's like having an extra library or having two citizens working. Um, working like scientist slots that's just oh it's just so so strong of a bonus because it's a passive bonus that relies on just like terrain and stuff i'm very excited to try out these bonuses uh, i think they all their, their digger unit is like one of their least exciting bonuses it's like a 72 combat strength infantry that has plus 10 combat strength in coastal and plus five combat strength in enemy tiles or neutral tiles so it's like the digger is pretty reasonably good but th then again it's a late game unit and it's also a um, melee unit. So melee units aren't very good. They're very low movement speed. They're mostly good at blocking and defending. And even then, they're not exactly cheap. So, eh, not so, not so excited about the digger. The Outback Station, however, is awesome. Let me just talk about this Outback Station, okay? Ooh, that's not the button I want to do. Outback Station, okay. You can build it on desert, desert hills, grasslands, and plains. And it gives plus one food, plus one production, and half a housing. But it also gets plus one food from each adjacent pasture. And it also gets plus one food and plus one production for, for every two adjacent outback stations. When you have steam power and rapid deployment. That is so good. This tile turns like, this tile is like a buildable Petra for your desert tiles. It's crazy. So if you get that plus a Petra, holy shit i think i'm gonna go here manually uh i'm pretty sure there's like a barbarian encampment up here i in 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 my test game i did a quick little test game of this you know i, I as i said you know I've, i think this is like my fifth, fourth or fifth attempt at actually getting this to work and uh, i did a couple of test games and let me tell you things did not go well so the very first thing i'm going to be doing is building a warrior because i don't want to get my ass kicked by by horsemen again uh Okay, I want to I want to try and go for a really 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 fast religion. I know it's probably not great, but it did the I I see, I I just I want to make religion work. I know it doesn't work, and I know it shouldn't work, but I want to make it work. You know, so I'm gonna scooch up here to see if I can find the Great Barrier Reef before um before a million horsemen spawn and try to kill me. Uh, probably one or two turns away from that happening, actually. So we're going to go for hardcore warriors. Here they come. Yep, we scouted the Great Barrier Reef. Awesome. As you can you can tell I've played this part of the game before, right? That I've got my ass kicked at this stage of the game. Another horseman coming out. I need to kill this scout to stop them spawning. Okay, I think that worked. This guy should be ready for a promotion. No more horsemen? Right? No. More horsemen appeared somehow. But thankfully we have a lot of warriors now. I think four warriors should hold off anything. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself. A okay. Do a bit of damage here and there. Choose technology. Um, I think grabbing a bit of chopping. Chop, chop, chop. Makes sense here. Why don't you level up? Rest in here. Minor victory. Awesome. Okay, I'm doing much better this time. Last time, I was murdered by these horsemen. Okay, you should survive, in theory. Ooh, 
What? How did that unit die? What? 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 Hold on. How did that unit die? It told me he wasn't gonna die. What? What? Am I did I misread it? I just I have to reload to know what happened there because I read the game. It didn't. It told me he wasn't going to die. So now I need to know what the hell just happened. Okay, so I moved this guy. I moved this guy here. And then I moved this guy here. And then, okay. Oh, it is. It is just about a kill. Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess I'm just a dumbass. And, uh, and I screwed up. Okay, this guy actually can't move. That's fine. We're gonna, yeah, we need more warriors because we're getting our asses just super duper handed to us apparently which is just how things are now i guess fully expected to lose some of these units it's fine a little upsetting but it's fine I do damage here to these guys new warrior popping out next turn Still here, awesome. And then that should be enough. That should be enough things. One more warrior, just to be certain that we can push back here because this is just like, it's been 15 turns and the sheer number of units I've had to deal with is crazy. Um, I think we're gonna actually go for uh So we're gonna go straight for early empire. I think that's like that's just always the play. Plus combat strength, plus production. God, let me let me look at the appeal. Appeal. Oh, I need mining. Yeah, I need mining to. Um, can I purchase a builder? I can maybe get a builder out. We'll see what we can do. Let's swap this. I want to get. A, I want to get. I want to see if I can maybe get a holy side out really early. I want to try and religion. I, I think I was talking about it. Is that, or I, I've I've tried to say this. I've tried to record this episode so many times that I I've probably said this like four times throughout. Um, I really, 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 really want to try to make religion work in this game. And I think I talk about this like literally every time I play a Civ game. Is I want to make religion work, but I don't know if it's even viable. I just don't. I think I need pastures here to get these things online. But I will be chopping. And then a holy site will be being dropped here. Yes. This is the dream. The dream is coming true. Awesome. Hit there. Next turn. This warrior will come out and I'll have three warriors to take this out. Awesome. So we burnt through like a lot of units. So this is going to take four turns, and if I chop here, it should only be three turns. Awesome. That's what we wanted. And then we'll get these two online as soon as we have foreign trade. Or uh, animal husbandry, I mean. Rather, 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 rather. We'll move our way up here. Next turn. Okay. I think, I, I think I've stabilized. I can calm down. I don't need to worry so much. Panic stations are over. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Move your way over here, move your way over here, get into that tile. Awesome. Uh, yeah, why don't you just go wait on the horses? It's really inconvenient that they, um... They, uh, they, they do so much... So much painful work over here. Why don't you rest? Unit needs orders. You have another two turns to wait. God. Okay, I finally got a start that I feel is acceptable. Because, like, I was having... Like, I've been trying to record this since, like noon today i've just been having really really shit <laughs> really really shit uh start outs wow somebody is already making great scientists 
that is crazy to me let's get to work on do i go for the shrine here or do i just go for the holy cypress i think i'm going to go for the holy cypress because i just really 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 want fast religion i want to make religion work and i think this is the game to try it one more turn until you can start building pastures for me all things good on this front if there are no dogs in heaven okay uh no this God. should have taken only one turn but apparently it didn't because i researched the technology it's fine i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cry about it too much although it does upset me a little bit i'm not gonna lie uh let's see here Do a little hitting okay everyone should rest now choose research we can now go for certain things i think it makes sense here get the pasture going uh more builders would be a good idea here possibly possibly choose production yeah let's go for writing we want to build all the we want to build the particular districts that uh that benefit from our unique ability so we have a shrine grab me a quick settler get this online too you you can rest there you're pretty high up so it looks like some city states have been crushed and i will hopefully be trying to liberate some of these things for the uh for the boost okay we have pantheons unlocked now the question is do i go for fishing boats or do i go for desert i think i go for fishing boats because there's going to be quite a few fishing boats in my empire like i already have two that's two production there's another production and like yeah, this is enough there's enough fishing boats in my opinion to justify uh to justify that so we have here a warrior who's going to rest this warrior doesn't need to rest anymore there's a decent tile by no means an amazing tile but a decent one i think we're going to purchase a builder here too uh i think we grab sailing early this was a mistake i should not have purchased that builder we're gonna grab sailing to put these two uh these two tiles online because they're gonna be really really strong for us for growth if we can get them online you can just wait your turns out should not have purchased them so early that was a mistake i should have maybe purchased a monument or a shrine probably would have been better we are going to be first to religion i think um question is i could settle on this river no i think settling coastal makes the most sense here i'll pick up yeah i go there settle there feels good to me wait your turn you rest in that city you get ready to fight Choose production. I could do one turn of holy side prayers and just really, really crack out the uh, the great prophet. I think I will do that actually. Drop one turn into a holy side prayer. And just finish our religion really, really super quick so that we secure the religion we want. I claim a great person. We're gonna recruit the great prophet. Boom. Drop him in over here. Found our religion. And uh, I think it, I think it'll be pretty fun to go for like some super hardcore, um, super hardcore like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, we're also going to be forming Atuinism, which is uh, if you don't read Terry Pratchett books, I feel bad for you, son. I've got ninety nine wizards, but a rinsewind is not one. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're going to try like a really hardcore production religion. I think that sounds like fun to me. I want to try it out. I've, I've probably tried it before, but uh, plus one production from fishing boats, plus one percent production for each follower, and the meeting house seems like a pretty interesting way to just really power production as hard as we can. 
And we're also something we're also going to want to be doing then if we're doing that is picking up the temple very early to see if we can't get up to the meeting house early. And that's going to be that for now. Do a little scalarino. Punch this guy. We want to wait a couple turns with you. I know I did do a save scum, but it wasn't like a huge save scum. I, I was just really confused about something and I wanted to check. Um, I wouldn't normally do that. It was just kind of weird that I did it, actually. Um, okay, so three more turns until you're useful. Warrior, make your way over there. Uh, yeah, skip your turn next turn. Gonna get that shrine out, which uh, will give us a little bit of extra faith, which we can use to purchase, you know, some of these leaders. Pretty excited about that. Looks like people are already making um, great scientists really fast, which is kind of worrying. A little concerned about where they're getting the uh, the things they need for those. Although it is deity, the AI cheats like hell. You should fortify there. Move there, kill here, move up that way. You should survive this. Yeah, you should survive that. And then, uh, although, you know, why would I risk it? Why not just run away? We're going to settle a city here. Brisbane. Do these things. Lock in production and food. Grab your monument. Nice and quick. We're also going to be getting you to build a holy site at some point. Uh... See about this one more turn until you can build those boats for me. You're also going to be building a settler. Super fast settlers uh, are on the cards for me right now. We didn't get an opportunity to find a second continent, sadly. I don't want to get pillaged, so I'll see if I can get this warrior over there. But you rest up there. Uh, one more. There we go. Now these tiles are awesome and workable. So we're going to lock that tile because it's so good. It'll really help the city grow. And uh, getting a second one, actually, will be pretty damn important for making that city grow and record speed. And then, um, then I reckon it's probably a good idea to get that sheep online. Once you go that way, unit needs orders. Go up here. Awesome. He went the way I was hoping. We have to hit him with our warrior. Rest this warrior in the city. He should be fine. You should be able to get a kill here. No problem. Next turn. So we have Atuanism. And uh, hoping to spread that a little bit. Once we figure it out. Rest up here. Next turn. Got a builder coming in over here. Got a settler coming out. Settler will be getting dropped up here somewhere. Let's have a little bit of a look here the world gets at the Settler map mode. Um, I think settling here is good. I want to settle the city in the center. So I'm talking like maybe if I settle here. Uh, it's called this a city, right? That means the closest uh, I'll be able to settle is uh, up here somewhere. And if I settle there... I'll be able to set yeah i'll be able to get a settlement so let's drop a pin over one two three bump, bump, there and we'll be dropping a city over here and uh, actually appeal is probably a good thing to check here yeah that'll be fine so these are my next two cities that i've planned you should be able to get over there no problem without an, without an issue and uh more settlers sounds good to me Keep resting these units. Fortify here. You'll get hit a couple times, but you'll be just fine. Get up onto there. If you can. I want to improve that because it'll capture these tiles and then I'll be able to capture more. I want to try and hit it before it grows. Yeah, nice. So get over there. It might be worth it to delay this by a turn and just to scout this. Just to get a good vision, see if I'm making the right choice. Because I might be making a poor choice. 
in that placement. Okay, he rested nice and easy, especially since we have early empire now. We can, uh, or we have the boost for it. We can hold off a little bit. We're not in a super duper duper rush. A Taz worth blocking. Next turn, awesome. Okay, I think I will scout. Yep, okay, this is the tile. Captures the pearls, does everything. No no downsides that I can see. Um, so what have you just finished? You just finished your monument, which is really good. I think you are going to need a builder. You're also going to want to get a trader for me, but I think I'll grab a builder first. Uh, okay. So that should be fine. Unit needs orders. Keep making your way around. Go here, start slamming on that guy. Uh, yeah, you go there. Settle right there. Okay, let's have a level, let's have a level, another look at the settler mode. Yeah, I should be able to squeeze in a couple more settlements. If I settle in one here, one, two, three. I could settle one here, one, two, three. And then drop one in the center here. All depends on what I see uh, up here on this coastline when I eventually scout it. Now you're going to go for Monument really fast. I don't, I don't really need um, the housing boost from uh, Granaries, but I think actually that's going to be the end of the episode. There's been quite a bit of time here. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. I think starting a few different games, trying a couple things, and even doing a single save, save scum just to figure out what went wrong uh, really led me to a satisfying game. I'm excited about this game. I can't, can't wait to continue it. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please remember, if you want to see more episodes of this, that you subscribe to my channel. It will um, give you notifications when the new videos are coming out. Also, if you want to directly support my channel, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. It increases my visibility on YouTube, all that sort of fun stuff. And that uh, shows your direct support for me. If you want to give me feedback on this episode or anything I'm doing or give me suggestions or anything like that, make sure you leave a comment on the video. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a great time. I love you very much. I'll see you next time.